Good day guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, obviously a little bit short on kind of current boxing topics to talk about. Now, you know, the, the knockout chaos event has happened. A bit short of things to talk about. So I was listening to the George Groth boxing podcast. George Groth being a former super middleweight who, world champion, and well known for his two fights with Carl Froch. And he beat Eubank Jr. Probably his, yeah, probably what he's most known for. So actually he's got a podcast now with Declan Taylor. A journalist for Boxing News. And they were interviewing Mike Egan. I'd heard his name mentioned briefly because there were he, he called out Big John Fury to fight on Misfits because obviously John Fury called out 100 no on the hard road, called out Kyle Froch to go and fight him in his farm. No, was it to go and fight him in his shed or something and one man's going to come out alive. So John Egan was like, well, stop. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? So John Egan called him out. I didn't know who he was actually, but he's an ex-professional fighter and he spent a lot of time with Mike Tyson. And as somebody who doesn't really know a lot about Mike Tyson, but I just generally kind of understand that he's pretty adored by the boxing world. A lot of people have a lot of love for him. I think obviously he had a very difficult upbringing. He grew up in a very poor part of America, you know, crime. He was arrested a lot, I think. So, you know, I guess you just like the rags from Witcher story, someone who came from hardship and became a world champion. But he was just kind of explaining the, you know, kind of what Mike Tyson was like, because he said he was, he was nasty, like in the ring. Like he always hit with bad intentions. And, you know, had a real had a real dark side to him. That's what you need in the ring. But then he said, you know, outside the ring, you know, they were really good friends. He had a really good relationship with his mother. You know, they'd run together. They, they did a food together. So it just makes it sound like he was a very nice guy. And I guess it's, it's quite interesting that, you know, you can see someone who's that nasty inside the ring. But they still have that kind of good, human, tender spirit to them outside the ring. And make, Mike famously said he's the toughest white man alive because... Uh, Mike said he was sparring him, and then there were four other white white guys. And the four other white guys went in before him and got knocked out. And then Mike went in and didn't get knocked out. He said he, he said he did get hurt a lot, but he didn't get knocked down. So that's why Mike wasn't the toughest white guy alive. But yeah, it was just quite it was quite sad, I guess, hearing his story as well. That you know a lot of people get into fighting because they have you know sad childhood. You know he said he was bullied a lot, and that's why he was good at taking punishment. You know he, he got beaten up a lot, so. That's why he could take punishment from people like Mike, which is, I guess it's nice that there was, you know, some sort of positive to the bullying that, you know, did make him tough, but, you know, just sad that, you know, he got bullied and then he'd stand in for his, you know, siblings if they were trying to get bullied as well. So a bit of a sad story, but just nice to hear about the resilience. And as a younger guy who doesn't know much about Mike Tyson, it was nice to, you know, hear about him and hear someone speak about him with such, you know, tenderness and kind of admiration and, you know, kind of, Wow, what a boxer he was as well. I wonder how Mike Tyson will do against Jake Paul. Obviously, he is, what, 60? He's 57, I think. But they said the power is the last thing to leave you, and he was a world champion, you know? Will he? Does he have a chance? <laughs> I don't know. Surely not, right? Jake's, what, 27 in the prime of his life? Not a great boxer, but hits hard, good chin. But just imagine if Mike does it. Can you imagine if Mike... Beats Jake Paul, that'd be crazy. I don't know, it's a weird one, the Jake Paul, Mike Tyson fight. I can't, I don't really know how I feel about it. Obviously, Jake should win, but like, Mike Tyson, you know, former heavyweight champion. Jake's been beaten by Tommy Fury, so he's not that technically good. But, yeah, it's just a real difficult one. I don't really know how I feel about it. Let me know how you feel about it in the comments. But, yeah, that was today's video. Just a little insight into Joe Egan, who he is, his relationship with Mike. And, yeah, just his story, really. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you like the content. Goodbye.